Okay, so if you don't have Audacity, it's uh, quite easy to find on the web. So if we do a Google search for Audacity, and you'll soon find that uh, a link to the Audacity website will come up top of the pile. So if we click on the link, you'll see a nice clean cut website uh, giving you a good explanation as to what Audacity is all about. Okay. Now, we'll just go back up to the top page. So what we're interested in is, well, I personally am interested in a Windows version, which I think most of you will be, but you'll see there are other options available. Um, and the 1.3 version, although it's beta, worked perfectly fine um, for the, the simple tasks um, that I mainly do, which is using it for voiceovers. So if we click on the link, we come to another page which gives more information and explanation. Uh, this file here, the Audacity 1.3.14 installer, is the file that you're actually going to need to click on um, to start the download process. And if we go down a bit further, one thing to point out is once you've got Audacity downloaded, um, one of the things I like to do is export any saved uh, sound files as an mp3 and what I found in the past that I needed to um, add this extra file um, this lame uh, mp3 encoder so if we click on that you'll see you'll get some more information so that's something again that you may um, use yourself so um, just be aware of that also So to start working with Audacity, all I need to do is double click the Audacity icon. That will get me into the Audacity working environment. And to start recording, click on the record button. So you can see from there that uh, that's quite simple to start recording. To stop, we'll click on the yellow button. Uh, now, I don't particularly want to save that piece of recording, so I just need to click on the cross and I can quite easily get rid of that. Now that I'm a bit better prepared, um, I've got a short voiceover that I want to use for a, a welcome to a presentation. So, if I click on the recall button, welcome to this short presentation on English grammar nouns. Click on the yellow button to stop. Um, if we want to play that back, we can hear what it sounds like by clicking on the green button. Welcome to this short presentation on English grammar nouns. Okay, happy with that. Um, and so now we're just going to save that as a single voiceover file. In Audacity, we can introduce a number of uh, recordings into one file and save that as a project file. But all we're interested in is exporting this particular voiceover sound to one single file so if we go to file exports I'm going to save this as an mp3 you'll see that there are various other formats that you can uh, save to uh, and I've already got a welcome file there but I'm just going to select that and I'm going to overwrite that like so save I get a warning uh, that I've already got a file with that name so yes now when it comes to the metadata set, we don't really need to worry about this, so we can click OK. And that's it. Job done. A file saved. Um, we can repeat that process for a number of voiceover files for each um, slide on your presentation. Um, when you've uh, completed your voiceover sound files, you can then go on to incorporate them into your PowerPoint presentation.